Uh, call me to order. It is, uh, wait a minute. It's, uh, what time is it? It's around 2, 2, 2 oh, 3. 2 oh, 3 on uh, September 14th, 2023. The um, Tree Committee of Bridgewater is in session. Um, first order of business is the approval of the minutes of August 8th, 2023. Uh, which were sent out to you if there I'll take a motion to uh, approve the minutes. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Is there any discussion on the approval of the minutes? All in favor say aye. 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 Anybody against? Okay. Um public comment since there is no public here. <laughs> I guess there's no comment. All right, old business. Um, let me just take a couple things out of order and try to get rid of the quick things um, before. Um... Wait a minute. We have Josh. Um, James is also part of this, so yeah. we so we actually have six people. Wait, you're not. Okay, we still have five. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm counting squares on the screen. Okay, sorry. Anyway, okay. One of the things we uh, discussed in the last meeting was the uh, recommended trees, which uh, was sent to the planning board. And I'll tell you, at the last meeting of the planning board, which was uh, September 6th, the planning board approved the recommended trees that we sent to them for the, the rules and regulations. So, so that the, those trees are now in the planning board's rules and regulations, and they are they're going to be the ones that we recommend to developers for planting trees. Okay. Could I ask a question, Ray? Sure. Um, I remember in the tree regulations it said they had to have a variety of trees when in a subdivision because it eliminates uh, you know disease through the same species. Right. And and I noticed that that uh, all the trees down on that new building on Bedford Street are all the same. So uh, you were keeping an eye on those, Shirley. Are those all maples, sugar maples? I don't know. Oh, okay, but they're <laughs> they're all the same anyway. So I was wondering how we monitor those things. Uh, do they present a list or do they just go and plant them? Well, um, admittedly, um, it seems that we have not been a, we have not designated. Um, sometimes it's come up with the designated trees, but they, they, they do go by the uh, planning board's uh, recommended tree list. Right. Um, I don't remember any discussion of mixing up varieties that. Yeah, been but, there. But that's a good point. And why don't I just bring that up at the planning board meeting? Okay. okay. Is that okay, Pat? Okay. Sure. Okay. All right. Um, forestry department bucket truck. Nothing from Pat and Paul. You have uh, no update at this time. Nothing. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, 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 I think this is part of the way democracy works. You have to keep plugging away to get something done. And, uh, um, Ray, um, I did, I did just give Michael a reminder on that. Um, he was still working on a reply to you. I think it was yesterday. Um, oh. so hopefully, it, so it is something that I have been just reminding him of weekly. So, um, it is on his plate. Very good. You know, I did that, that. That just occurred to me, Josh. Instead of me sending Michael email, maybe we should just go through you. Okay. Yeah, and I was actually going to recommend that because um, I had mentioned it to him if he had sent you guys a reply yet. Um, and you know, he he gets like four hundred emails a day, and not even exaggerating. Um, so if you can send it to me, it's something that I can easy uh, follow up easily with him. Okay, that that sounds good. Um... We'll do that. Um, okay, so then we'll hopefully have some sort of reply to that at the next meeting on the uh, bucket truck. Um, 
Garden City Club offer, I've heard nothing. So I assume we don't have any possible money coming in. Remember, there was the, the talk of $300 being donated to us to plant trees, and that was going to go before the full committee of the Garden Club, but I've heard nothing. So so uh, nothing to uh, add to that. Um, the uh, Crescent City Street, Crescent Street Trees, by the way, welcome, James. I just noticed you came on. Um, Sorry I, to be late. I did um, remember the Crescent Street, the, the house, they had, they had four trees cut down. Right. Looks like for a um, uh, solar, solar panel, so they put on the uh, mm -hmm. roof. Uh, I mentioned it to Michael when I, I saw him at uh, the meeting, and um, I don't know where that's going to go. I do think that at some point, though, this committee should make a recommendation. I, I know we talked about this, that the town should have some sort of something in place that people know, whether it be on the town website or whatever, that 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 uh, they have to, that street trees are simply town trees and they do not have the right to simply um, cut them down on, on their own. Right. They, uh, Shirley. Um, I I would like to make it more of a mandate if we can. Number one. I'm wondering if it would be appropriate to put it into our tree ordinance. And it might be something that would be part of uh, the description of the tree warden, which would say uh, something to the effect that the town will um, impose a fine for people mm -hmm. who do not uh, comply with the um, tree removal policy, if you will. And um, I think that we can back that up by number one, putting it in to some kind of a flyer that we circulate. Number two, um, it is approved by the town council. Maybe I should put those in the reverse order, town council and then into some kind of a flyer. Um, I think we meet, need to make this more official because as we go into a period where it's going to become more and more common for people to be doing solar, and other things of that sort, um, we're gonna have more of those because people just don't know. And the other thing I think is we should be notifying all of those people who are registered to be tree removers in the community and let them know that we now have a policy and a fine and that uh, they will be complicit if they don't, if they cut down trees in town without the proper notifications. Hey. Don't we? Regulation. I'm sorry. Say that again. Pat. A regulation. We already. We, are we already ready. have that, right? Yeah. Right. We do. Yes. We the, do. The, the, you can. Your second point, Shirley, is is valid. I think we discussed this before that we need to, in some way, make sure the public knows that uh, cutting down street trees are a violation of town bylaws. Mm -hmm. um, are you just assuming that these trees are town trees and not private trees? The ones that look that, that I saw, it's hard for me to imagine that they were on private property. They're right next to the curb, mm -hmm. right. li literally next to the curb. Um, it's it's yeah. possible. I, I don't know. If Paul they Hawking. really are, but there's, there's always a chance we're finding more and more with real real GIS mapping and stuff that the layouts are not always what we perceive them to be. Right. But but I think Shirley's point is still valid that we should that people should know uh, that they simply can't cut I'm not sure whether it's ever happened before. Uh, probably never, I don't know. But uh oh it's it's happened it's happened many times, Ray. Really? And anytime anyone wants to take a tree down that belongs to the town, they have to to uh, get a permit. Right. And, uh, you know, the town would advocate not taking the tree down unless there's a, 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 a good reason. Is that, then, do you, do you have any neighbor. examples of that, Bill? Uh, well, one was the, uh, the big oak tree at the corner of Star Road and Pleasant Street years ago. Mm -hmm. 
it was a magnificent oak tree that uh, yeah. uh, we all loved, except the residents of Star Road. They couldn't get out onto Route 104 safely. So we had a public hearing on it. And uh, in fact, we brought it before the uh, town uh, selectmen. Uh -huh. We voted to remove it only based on safety reasons. Well, there's a valid example of what went through procedure then. I mean, that's 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 not somebody just cutting a tree down. That seems sounds like it was the proper way to do it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Do Pat, you have a form for that, Bill? We do somewhere, uh, Pat. Um, yeah. And I'm at a loss to, to put my finger on it right now. Because, uh, you know, the public would need to know that, too. Oh yeah, you you can't just go prosecute people because they've taken trees down without without uh, mm. no first. Hey, uh, Sh Shirley, go ahead. I'm willing to bet that ninety percent of the people uh, in the town do not know that we have an ordinance that deals with removal of street trees. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's not something that your real estate agent talks to you about when you're looking at a piece of property to buy. Okay. Any suggestions how we should approach this? Well, it, it it should be made clear in the in the ordinance once we get that straightened out, and we've got to come up with a way to uh, make it known to the, the to the entire town. This is the way. Uh, this is it. Well, if I'm not mistaken, it's already in the old ordinance that there's a penalty for taking down right. the trees. It's just yeah. making it known to the town. That's true. But who's reading the the old ordin ordinance? Exactly, I know. Yeah. So the the issue then is how do we make the public aware of the fact that we have an ordinance that says you can't simply take down street trees? Well, we we're planning the forum at the library, right? Maybe we can work off of that. That's one way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when we pr promote the actual event, we could mention. This is one of the reasons why things of that nature. How about, um, can we get it on the town website, do you think, Josh? Do you think that's? Uh, Josh, I don't see you. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, we can we can get that posted on the town's website. Um, that would be a simple thing to do. Sorry? That would be a simple thing to do that we can yep. do right away, yeah. Yep. Um, you want, wait a minute, let's just, okay, Shirley, go ahead. I think we could also ask Jeff if he could put it on the uh, community, um, whatever it is, uh, ATV, and, and run it for a period of time, maybe uh, for the first week and every month, we could run it or something like that. Okay. Um, I think it has to be done regularly because houses are changing hands on a regular basis. So I don't think it's a one-shot deal and a one place deal. I think we just have to keep at it. I would also see that maybe it would go into our, uh, when and if we get to it, a pamphlet that we would, would try to distribute to the town. Right. And I would see that we could get it to the real estate agents in town. Um, there are vehicles that we can use that we haven't touched before. And I don't see any harm in trying to use them now. And this might not be the only thing that we want to bring to the attention of the public, but it certainly is one of them. That's a good idea, Shirley. Okay, let's just clarify one thing. Josh, you said you can get it on the website, right? Do, do you mm -hmm. need, can you, can you do the wording and you want somebody to help with the wording for it or what? Is, is I mean, if you give me just kind of the general description of what you're trying to say, I'll, I'll put it in into the, uh, on the website formally. It seems simple to me. What, anybody want to make a suggestion regarding wording? Well, there's already wording in the ordinance, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The existing ordinance, the existing part of the, it, it looks to me like what we're proposing is the existing ordinance already covers this to some degree, and we want to elaborate on that later, right? So for now, the exist some paraphrasing that Josh could do of the existing ordinance for now, and then if we... um. And then we can, when we are, do try to promote any change to the ordinance, we can say this is already something, this is not something we invented. We're just elaborating, right? This is. Right. We're just, I, I'm just wondering whether you can say in simple language that. Yeah. That, uh, 
I think that part of the ordinance is actually fairly common common language, un, unusual for an ordinance. But just what I just read, there's um, the intentional. You know, public tree, a tree located in the public way, it says as defined in general law 87.5, but you don't have to add that. Just a, a tree located in the public way can't be cut down on purpose. <laughs> um, you know, I think for the purpose of a, of a general thing on the website, that's probably fine. How about uh, if um, I work with Josh and we get just a simple statement, okay? Okay. Okay. I think that it wouldn't hurt if we could locate a copy of the application that the homeowner needs to fill out in order to to get permission to cut down a tree. Um, that might be a, something that we could also publicize somehow so that people know that there is a process. It's not just we have a law, but if we want to do anything about that law, we've got to go through the process. Apply so, for a permit, right. Gosh, where would this go on the website? Um, we can put it under the, the tree committee's web page. That's not going to be a popular page for people to go to. I think what it do needs you to mean? Go to the general <laughs> public. <laughs> <laughs> we must get a uh, hundred hits a day. Come on. <laughs> I mean, depending on the popularity of it, um, you know, there in site views, um, you know, it could make it to the front page just based on that. Um, but otherwise, you know, I, I'm I'm open to any you know any other spots you guys think well, might be my, relevant. My bugaboo is that the website is not user friendly. At least for it's not for me anyway. But um, let let's just try to move slowly with this. Uh, let, let me work with Josh. We'll get a statement and we'll we'll put it where we can right now, and then we can see whether it can be moved. Okay, is that okay? All right. Okay, um, let's see. That's didn't think that would take that much time, but um, okay, let's go to um, Nicole, Tree City. Yes, um, so I have had an amazingly busy month, so I am way behind on my tasks, but I was able to forward only this morning back to Paul the sort of the worksheet that is required for the backup to complete the Tree City USA application, which we only need to submit by the end of the year. And most of the items are administrative and I'm, I'm in the process of filling those out and we'll have to, um, you know, ultimately give it to Michael, I guess, to kind of confirm that everything has been filled in correctly on behalf of the town. Um, and then other than that, the most complicated piece is really just the backup for the standard number three, which is that requirement that the town um, spend at least $2 per capita per year on tree care. So that is just the backup, you know, that, sorry, Paul, uh, that, you know, that would need to be pulled together by, yeah. you know, the highway department really, because they're currently in charge of that work. But um, if you look at what you sent, they, and it, it shouldn't be that hard. No, because no. luckily you have the low hanging fruit you brought up originally, which is that a lot of the um, the work you source out right. will qualify anyway. So if the if all of their invoices add up to more than that, then there's not much more. Right. Yeah. As far as like the, you know, planting and new growth and stuff, I don't really have any of that. But it doesn't say you have to have a mix. It just says you have to spend that money. So. Right, right. And what was interesting is that there's even other, um, you know, tree care that happens in, you know, other town owned lands. Like I noticed cemeteries could count as well if they're, you know, owned by the town. So I'm not sure if there are any, um, anyone that takes care of, you know, cemeteries, but there's also our, um, yeah, our open space. There is the new position for the, um, sort of the steward, the park steward. And I, you know, I even wonder if his salary could qualify. So I, I didn't, I didn't. You know, we can look at the, kind of look more into the backup. So what I'm hearing is that, Paul, it's not a big deal if we get this material together, correct? No, I just yell over to Tim in the other office. And <laughs> okay. 
No, we'll get together on it probably probably next week. I'll probably make it a priority, and we should be able to fairly fairly easy come up with it. Okay, and then once the materials together, Nicole, you said that you can put it together. Then all you have to do is have Michael sign off on it. Correct. Yep. I will. I will integrate that information into the overall application, like a draft form that you know Michael can um, basically review, confirm, and sign off. Because I've got to put in like, you know, addresses and different you know information about the town. Um, you know, I guess who's in charge really. So I'll just make sure that I ha have all that correct, and then I think it can be signed off on, and we can submit at the end of the year. Yeah, and you're saying it can't be submitted until the end of the year. All right. Um, no, we can do it when it's ready. We can submit. So okay. uh, it's a rolling. They opened up the website about a month or so ago with the application. So it's a rolling, um, you know, basically once we think we're, we've qualified for the year 2023, um, we can submit. And because we did the Arbor Day proclamation, because we did our event um, and, and so long as we have the, the dollar value criteria covered, we are good to go. The Excel. The Excel. Hey. Um, if I may, can I put pressure on both of you to can we get this done by the next meeting? Yeah, I hope we get it done next week. My okay, let's 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 do in, in, yep. because <laughs> things go wrong sometimes. Let's try to say that on the next meeting, the next agenda, that uh, that this is put together. That maybe the last thing that has to be done is tracking Michael down. Yep, getting him signed. Okay. And it's, it's uh, and any any comments anybody? This is great. I mean, I think this is really good. Great. Right, it's calendar year on the call. I guess it's calendar year twenty three expenses. Correct. Good. And feel free to send that to me as well, and I'll make sure you know it gets reviewed and signed. Good. Okay. Um, let's do the ordinance. That's the main thing. And that's, I'm going to put up to Bill and Josh, because you guys sent out the draft of it, of the first. Uh... Would you like me to share share my screen and show the, the highlights? Up to you. I, I, I tend to look at printed stuff, so I printed it out. It's up to you. So yeah, why don't you put the share screen so everybody can see it? Okay. Okay, so as I said in my email, um, the highlights are um, after Bill's review and his recommendations for um, just edits and additional language added to the uh, sections one through four. Um, so yeah, he started with the definitions and um, Bill, if you want to speak on that, you're more than welcome. Well, just, I guess, just I guess to clarify, I first of all, wait, any, anything that's not highlighting yellow is the old and you're accepting as as standard that's, that you're going to keep it, right? That's what Josh has written so far. Right, but I'm saying the, uh, the what the changes are in yellow. Yep. Everything. Okay. Fine. Go ahead. Um, as far as definitions goes, I just added some def definitions that you would typically find uh, in arboriculture and in other town uh, ordinances. Um, Let's see. You know, definition of a public chase tree, canopy, drip line, uh, habit of growth. You know, the habit of a tree is important. Uh, and then a, the definition of a tree warden. That has to be in there somewhere under definitions. Um, I think everybody could take a look at this and make... Uh, suggestions it's kind of the easiest part of the ordinance yeah i i just saw one little thing uh you know just minor and, and when it says appointed by the town manager wait a minute no i'm sorry scratch what i was going to say I, I i misread it okay okay 
the uh, when you get into the authority of the tree warden, uh, that's something that I think uh, we have to bring Michael into the conversation because uh, not even having a real tree warden at this point, uh, the demands here are going to uh, force us to hire somebody and, and uh, make sure he's paid. Right. We can't have uh, uh, somebody going out and making demands on uh, on uh, the population without uh, some remuneration. Yeah, Bill, that's the only comment I have when under 401 that, it, that some, shouldn't something be inserted that it's a paid position? Yes, it certainly should be. All right. Okay. It's not there now, though. I'm just wondering where, where it would go. Um, I... I believe it's the tree warden shall be an employee of the town. Oh, okay. Yeah, but does employee necessarily mean paid? <laughs> yeah, maybe we should put the word paid in there. Paid employee. Okay, that's a yeah. easy. Yeah, I ordinance, so. Sorry, does the ordinance do that with any other um, town office, like health agent or, or that kind of thing? Like, do, do, do we actually have ordinances that spell out the person needs to be paid? <laughs> I don't want to be silly if they don't, but if they do, we should. But isn't, Bill, aren't you a tree warden now and you're unpaid? That is correct. So, we and, to, yeah. No harm in putting it in. And, and you know, once once everything's finalized and the uh, committee's ready to submit it, I mean, Michael will go over it and, you know, make sure any, any of the language needs to be changed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Maybe there's back pay involved. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> okay, keep going. We, uh, well, again, we we section five is as far as we've we've uh, we've got this far, right? Yep. Gosh, so the remaining sections are five through nine. Right. But you, you haven't tackled the administrative re responsibilities as yet? Not just yet, no. No, no. Uh, so that is literally all we've got so far. No, I, I did a quick look through it before the meeting and it seemed fine to me. I'm not sure. Does anybody else have any comments? Well, this is a good, good beginning um it looks like the first year of such a, a position would be a lot of work that uh the the building of um inventory i think would be would be quite a bit uh and i assume that that would be with the assistance of other people in town who have access to the gis data involved just the building an inventory of public trees seems like a lot um a lot of work that wouldn't be so much in year two as it would be in year one. Mm -hmm. Well, and they, again, that could be contracted out to a private company would could come in and uh, provide us with an inventory. Okay. This is good. Good. Um, Will you be sending out this updated uh, ordinance? I don't have. <laughs> I don't have the yellow lines. Oh. He did he um, sent it out, Pat. You didn't get it? I mine's mine's clear. So it doesn't include the uh, uh the highlighted areas. That's so awesome. mine, mine at the cool. email that you were you had replied to me yeah. asking for the agenda, um, that was actually the ordinance that you replied from. But I well, I can resend it to you again if you'd like. I need the highlighted one. Yeah. Yep. I think what happened is the highlights did not print out when it when it was emailed. Okay. Well, they're they're awesome. in my version on the screen. They're in my version. They are. But it might it might be a doc a word a word version issue or something because it looks mm -hmm. in the what Josh sent. Uh, when was this? I can't see a date. Oh, Wednesday, which will be yesterday, two forty seven p.m. That one has trigger draft one. It has the yellow marks in it so that's odd but anything that happens in word these days does not surprise me 
Right, so Josh, you could send it again to Yep. Matt. I'll send them out. And if, if you're not seeing that, just let me know. All right. Thanks. Any other comments? Okay. What, what what's the uh when should we schedule the next session of this? Josh, Bill, next meeting, the meeting after or what? Well, Josh has been tasked with writing the uh <laughs> the ordinance, and then we're all supposed to uh uh critique it. Um yeah, I, I can continue to work on it um, for October's meeting. Okay, good. And then if we want to um, just review it then and make any changes at that point. Yeah, section by section. Yep. Yeah. That's beautiful. Also in the chat, but I think the chat might have only gone to Josh, but I did give the links to the um, Tree City USA criteria because standard two is the criteria um, I don't know how pertaining that. to the ordinance. And there's just a couple. I I think we cover all of them, even in the old one. But just to you know, just to to double check that we're still covering the requirements and the recommendations of the Tree City. Like it really just says, like you know, it has to provide clear guidance for planting, maintaining, or removing trees from streets, parks, and other public spaces. Another um, requirement is that the ordinance needs to um assign authority over public trees and that's kind of what we've been talking about this could be through the establishment of a tree board or forestry department or both and gives them the responsibility for public tree care so i think we're giving the responsibility to a tree warden but i wonder if we do need to consider that being you know based on how this is worded also to a forestry department once we hopefully have one. Okay. First of all, I hear something in the background. Somebody hears. I hear something else going on. Anybody? Yeah, that was me. Sorry, I'm muted. I, I, I can't help that. I'm in a busy place. Oh, okay. Um, that, you bring up a good point, Nicole, which I didn't think about before. Are we, are we going, in terms of the Tree City application are we using the old tree ordinance or are we waiting for the new one nope we can use the old one it, okay. it qualifies still anyway so okay all right good okay good anybody else on the tree ordinance okay um let's see uh fall projects we i we don't have anything scheduled i know we didn't uh, come up with anything but i do have a request from merrily that um let's see i think two years ago two years ago maybe three years ago the uh, bia purchased um herbie elm trees um and they were purchased to, to be grown and then delivered when they're a certain height to bridgewater and surely maybe you can help me i think it's what 10 trees or 11 trees Something like that. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Well, they're going to be delivered next spring. And, uh, she wants help in terms of whether we can suggest places to plant these trees. Um, so I'm just throwing that out to you now. I'm not sure whether it, we're getting, we can discuss that right now or maybe at the next meeting, but uh, she's looking for spots. So. Well, these elm trees are going to reach a height of around 100 feet anyway. So we have to keep that in mind. Well, uh, I don't think they will. But they might get to 60 feet. I'd love to see two planted on the front lawn of the academy building, one on either side, hmm. to eventually replace those old Norway maples that are on the right side of the uh, academy building. Right. Maybe, maybe the uh, senior center. I, I'm not sure what the layout is up there. Well, I mean, I'm, that's another topic, Bill. If anything, I want to see you okay. said. Okay. Um, yeah, Shirley. I, I think we have to keep in mind that they should be on town property. Right. Um, street trees would have qualified, of course. And uh, we should try also to keep them away from the power lines so that they're not planted under the power lines and become um, misshaped, if you will. Um, what we might do is if we can each just sort of take a pad with us when we're driving around town and note on the pad where you see uh, an appropriate place for them 
and then we can collect that information and pass it on to Merrill Lee. Good idea. Um, why don't we do that? And then at the next meeting, if you, we could discuss it and then pass it on. Yeah. Okay. Uh, another thing, just quickly on this, uh, these are not uh, our, our old fashioned American elms. They're a new variety and they, uh, they don't grow in that wonderful habitat that Pat might've mentioned uh, about being that tall. Uh, they're a little smaller than we'd like to see. I take it they're, they're pretty hardy, the trees. Yeah, I I just um, not having heard of Herbie trees before. I looked it up, and it it looks like they are these all derived from this one tree called Herbie yes. in Maine. Yes, this Yarmouth Maine tree. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty interesting. Uh, so anyway, that all right. uh, all right, that's pretty cool. Good. Okay, I think that is we don't we, we mentioned pan, we keep mentioning pamphlets. And it's something that I think is seems simple, but it's not. Um I don't see how we're gonna I don't know if any of you found any pamphlet that we could put our name on, but uh I'm I I'm I i do not know. I just I think it's uh something we, we should do, but any any thoughts? Um, what was it again, Ray, you're asking yeah. about? The pamphlets, about the, the, the ability of us coming up with a pamphlet that we can, uh, you know, pass out to the public. Uh, well, maybe but, something that would include our, our ordinance uh, rules that we true, can get, get the entire population of the town. True. Uh, That's a good point. I think it could also include... Uh, the type of trees that we're recommending as street trees and maybe give a suggested list of trees that might become backyard trees, if you will, for people who are interested in um, planting, planting their own trees. And I would also think that we might be able to put in a diagram <clears throat> uh, about how to plant them, what the level should be and the size of the hole in relation to the ball of the tree, et cetera. I think there's plenty of information that we can give. I look at the pamphlet as being informative, but also educational. All good ideas, Shirley. We need a subcommittee to do this, and then make a recommendation. I think that makes sense, yes. I'd be happy to work on the subcommittee. Okay, somebody else? I think, uh... <laughs> Not all at once, please. Not all at once. Don't, don't raise your hands all at once. I mean, just... Uh, let, let, I'll help, but we need somebody else. How about uh, I'll we'll say I'll, I'll help Shirley, and maybe one of you can jump in uh, that soon. Okay. All right. Just if Ray, one idea that I had had, and we were talking about something similar with the uh, little side email we had about the tiny forests, but tapping yeah. in maybe even to BSU to see if any students as a special project may want to do, because something like that pamphlet, I know that in the geology department, and James, I'm not sure what you know, but if any um, students are, you know, particularly studying horticulture or, you know, similar um, career paths, if they might be, you know, interested in doing something that they could obviously get credit for. So we'd have to be working with, you know, a professor, but sometimes they do um, they are allowed to kind of do a special project. And if we know of anything, um, that that seems like a perfect fit for someone to help us create something. If we can't find anything already made on our own. Thanks, James. Um, so, yeah, I do have a, a land protection class this fall. I can see if anybody in that class would like, like to do something like this. I always hesitate a little bit because the special projects have to kind of follow semesters although we've gotten a little bit more relaxed with that and i just always have trouble getting the timing of things like this uh to work out hold a second i need to check on something with my my kid here yeah, I, mean, I, I can also reach out to some um some of my landscape architect contacts i have you know yeah. a friend that works at the conway school and um i know they're always interested in you know helping out with realistic yeah. projects, I guess, things yeah. that are real rather than just, you know, 
arbitrary. So I can I can ask around and see if we can get help. Okay, that's good. And and I will check too. One one thing we do have at the university that um, that is sometimes helpful is when there are internships. It's sometimes possible, to, even if there's an internship that's not funded by the agency, we have some foundation funding that can give a student uh, a stipend for working on projects. So that's that's a possibility. That'd be great. Um, I, mean, I, I like that idea of bringing the college mm -hmm. in. Yeah, that's good. All right, uh, good. Anybody else? All right, two more things. Um, just uh, quickly, Emily at the Senior Center, I guess there is a plan for plantings there uh, that's been uh, worked on. And the she would like to know whether we can plant, I think, upwards of six trees. In other words, we would get the trees um, in front of the Senior Center. And um, it's a decision that we have to make as a group, but not me. So I, I, I told her I would put it on the agenda for um, this meeting. I'm not sure the uh, how the money is being gotten to do all the plantings at the senior center. I guess that they gave they got uh, what's her name to uh, uh, what's her name Michelle Chardin to come up with a a uh, plan for plants and so forth around there, but I guess the uh, Part of it, the trees are not going to be covered by it. So she's basically asking whether we can plant some trees there, period. So I'm just tossing it out to you right now. Yeah, Shirley. If we're going to do that, uh, now is the time to plant trees for the fall planting. If not now, then we would have to wait until the spring planting time. And I really recommend that we don't plant any trees now and to, unless we are plant, uh, also getting gator bags to uh, water them and some scheme of how who's going to fill the gator bags. Uh, we're, we're, we may not need a lot of water this fall because of what we've been having in the way of help from nature or mankind. Um, but we do need to be sure that new trees being planted have a steady amount of water. Let me maybe Shirley, Bill, you can answer. How late can we plant? Well, how late can we plant into the fall? Uh, right up until the end of November, before the ground is frozen. Okay, so if we make a decision on this at the October meeting, we're okay still, right? Yes. Right. Is, is the senior center ready for the trees? I, that's, that's exactly what I'm thinking of right now. I'm not sure where she's at. Um, I think there's a plan to to remove a lot of the asphalt there and really right. create some uh, garden space and, and stuff. Yep. yep, I know. And that's why I'm saying uh, I don't think we can do this right now in one way or the other. So um, why don't I find out more from Emily as to what their plan is and when it's going to be put into effect? we can discuss this at the next meeting okay okay all right last thing that i have is a forum it came to my mind when i don't know somebody suggested it to me believe it or not uh, my friend in albuquerque um and i thought to myself duh why didn't i think about this before what why can't we put a forum together on some of the things we've been talking about, what trees to plant, how to plant trees, how to take care of trees, um, do it for the library in person. And uh, it would not only help, I think, some people plant trees, but also be a good PR for the tree committee and the town to do it. Seems to me we can do it. I mean, we did, it would mean having um, a couple experts to either speak and ask answer questions. I mean, we may have them sitting right at this meeting right now to do it. Um, what are your thoughts? By the way, I mentioned it to Michael and he got excited about us doing it. Yeah. I, I think it will be good. I, I, I think that um, that 
I, I think we can only get so much traction as a committee meeting through these two dimensional screens. I really, I've, I'm like done with Zoom meetings in my, most agree. of my life. So any excuse that we can get together in three dimensions, I think is is a good thing. Um, I don't think we're going to, whoops, and I, there I went out. I was zero dimensional there because I'm in a room that's not, I usually pay better attention to the lighting. Um, the uh, So I think that an excuse to be together in three dimensions, as many of us who can be, and also I don't think we can really get much attention in town uh, just um, through, through media. I think that doing something uh, in person, if I could show up just the, just my disembodied head, like I just did, I would, I think that would be good for the meeting, but no, seriously, sorry about that, that weird special effect. Um, but I, I'm all for it and, and it would actually, I love preparing things for public, uh, public meetings like that. Matthew, what do you think? Any negative thoughts? All right. I sure. would like to suggest we might do something in the way of a forum uh, in the early spring when people are tired of winter and are thinking about what they're going to do to their outside lawns and things of that sort. Uh, I think this is a little late for a forum this fall, and I'm mm -hmm. not sure the winter is the motivating time to do things like that, but maybe sometime in April or May. I, I, you know, I, that went through my mind too. But I'll tell you, down deep in the, I'd like to do something soon. Um, I don't know. I just, I mean, we could do something else in spring, but it'd be, I don't know. Would, would it, Bill? I, I was going to say I could reach out to the Mass Arborist Association and see if they could offer uh, a handful of uh, expert speakers. I know that I know they do this on some uh, limited basis. Would they be willing to actually come in person? Yes, yes, yes. You know, unpaid volunteer. You know, it's just part of what the association does. Um, but I'll make that a priority and get back on it. And uh, Bill, that's... you had mentioned uh, pamphlets from them or flyers, so maybe you can follow up on that. At the same time. Okay, let's first decide whether we should do this in, in the fall or in the spring. Give me some opinions. Well, fall's now, so I don't I know. Shirley, <laughs> what? I think I agree with Shirley. Like in the springtime, people are thinking about what they're going to do to the yards and stuff like that. But I, I think that late winter, like even February, would be good. Like to, I think by February, people are bored again <laughs> enough to to do something and can start be you know, we don't want to give people great ideas for planting it on april 15th when the planting the best planting time is right maybe that week so i think february might be a good uh target or early march um but i agree cramming anything in cramming anything in before the end of the year seems to be over already in terms of anything we might plan for this Okay. calendar year but um i think though i think those if we get cold days in winter um that might be that might be a good time to get people out all right but why don't we do this then <laughs> since we're not there's no rush why don't we each think about this who we'd want there when to do it i i you know james's point about uh february march i i would think early march would be the ideal time um mm -hmm. and then we could Plan at the next meeting. I don't think there's going to be a lot of work in terms of putting this together. I know Jed at the library is open to forums there. And he'll set it up. We can, and, and even that that's a smart TV there. We even wanted somebody to uh, speak uh, remotely. We could even set that up too. Um, so I, I think it has to be put together. And speaking of the library, um, starting October 30th, I'll be doing a senior a BSU senior college course on the Amazon uh, Monday, my first uh, in-person senior college course. I've done a couple, you know, I did a couple remotely uh, in the last couple of years. I'm doing one about the Amazon, uh, which is trees, uh, October 30th through the next following Monday mornings 
for about six weeks. So I'll be sure to mention the tree committee every time because well, that's a good, you know, Dave, anybody who happens to be over 50 is eligible to take these. Dave, just a warning. Um, yep. I'm, I'm teaching a senior course on the uh, Middle East right now. Uh huh. In the first meeting, uh, I, and I want to do, I won't do anything other than in person. The, uh, uh -huh. the college was not very good at electronically setting that uh, TV up. It did not work properly. They're, oh, I'm, I'm being told it's okay now, but uh, they should have a tech person there at all times, but they don't. But it's, I'm just warning you. Suppose Thank you. Gonna, it's going to be all set for the next meeting. But uh, um, anyway. Well, I do worry about that, especially being the being the first one in a new venue. Now, uh, it's, it's tricky. The, yeah. The, the I've used it before. The TV is very good, but it mm -hmm. has to be connected to your uh, to a laptop. The college has a laptop ready. But it's a, it's it's the town's TV, and it uh -huh. they they went through they, they tried to connect it to work, and it didn't work. So I I've had trouble out. in that room myself. So All thank right. you for reminding me of that. Okay, <laughs> get there a I'll day early. You know. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, uh, that's all I have. Anybody else have any um, thing you want to bring up? Mm -hmm. Only once. Oh, twice. Okay, now wait a minute. Now for the next meeting, we are going to discuss. We're going to have an update on the Tree City. We're going to hopefully have a positive update on the Forestry Department. Um, I'll, I'll check with uh, Emily at, about what they're doing at the Senior Center, and we'll talk about the forum. Um, and another session on the tree ordinance, maybe. And, okay. Also, Ray, I think, and unfortunately, I hadn't had a chance to really push it forward over the past month, but we did want to um, talk about the proposal for mitigation funds. Ah, right. <clears throat> yep. yep. Definitely. Okay. So, yes, and this, my, I'm behind. Shirley was able to meet, and I was not able to meet, but maybe we'll get together over the next month and try to wrap that up. Very good. Yeah, Shirley didn't mention, I, I didn't. Put it on the agenda. My, my I was going to slip slip under the radar, but I felt too guilty. <laughs> no, don't feel guilty. All right. Anybody else? Make a motion to adjourn then. So moved. Motion made. Is there a second? Second. Uh, all in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 Have a good rest of the day, and hopefully you're not blown away tomorrow by the or Saturday. We we. Won't have any trees falling down or like floods or whatever. Uh, no, it needs to be acceptable. Take it easy. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.